The UEFA Champions League is the greatest club competition in world football. All the best teams and all the biggest teams from Europe enter in one competition, all going for the same prize at the end of the season, that being the Champions League trophy. Some massive teams, some massive players have lifted the trophy in the past, and it's a competition that every single fan looks forward to, looks forward to going to the games, looks forward to watching the games, and just always wants to be a part of it. And that applies to Celtic fans. As Celtic fans, we always have the expectations when champions to qualify and go into the group stage of the Champions League, as it's a far better experience than the Europa League group stages. This year we have made it into the group stage once more for the second consecutive season and we're looking to put a little bit of a marker down and show that we have improved as a European team, but we have got three tough games to go through, two of those teams being PSG and Bayern Munich. Can we get a massive win against them? I don't know, but in the past Celtic have had some great Champions League games since the rebranding of it in 1992, so will we see some massive of fixtures like we have in the past where we get big upset wins and points that we didn't expect, who knows. But in this video I'm going to look at the best 5 Champions League matches for Celtic since the rebranding of the tournament in 1992. There's wins, there's some draws, just overall experience. What made these games good I will explain as I go through them, but here we go, the best 5 results in the Champions League for Celtic. At number 5 then we have got one of the more recent Champions League games for Celtic and it is last season's match at home against Manchester City. Now you might be thinking there is other games that could probably be on this list after all this wasn't a win, it was a draw but it was for the first time in over two years that Celtic were back in the Champions League it was Brendan Rodgers first campaign as Celtic manager. People had written Celtic off after poor performances in Europe the past two years. We were wrote off by most critics and no one saw Celtic getting anything from this game. The people down south who usually give Celtic stick continued to give a stick and we went into this game against Pep Guardiola's brand new Man City who were running rampant in the league and were looking like they could destroy Celtic. But we went to Celtic Park that night and we took the lead three times. Moussa Dembele getting two, Raheem Sterling helping us out with an own goal. We took the lead three times that night. The atmosphere was brilliant and for our first home group stage match back in the Champions League in over two years, it was a great way to show that Celtic are still a big team, still a force not to be messed with and we really proved people wrong and that's what I loved about that game, we proved a lot of the critics from down south wrong. 3 all, yes it wasn't a win but at the end of the day, a great performance and we kind of broke Man City for the rest of their season so that was nice as well. At number 4, it's the only game away from Celtic Park in this list and I could have put the other leg against them but it was against Spartak Moscow over in Russia. Now the, the other game we played against them at home was the game that secured our place in the last 16 in the 2012-13 to season but what is so momentous about this game it was the first and only time since the rebranding in 1992 of the Champions League that a Scottish team has won away from home in the group stages of the Champions League. Rangers hadn't done it, Celtic hadn't done it in the past and even to this day it's still the only time Celtic have managed to get an away win in the Champions League group stage so it was massive and it was great as well, it was great drama, 2 all and then in the 90th minute the big Greek gorgeous man himself, Georges Samaras, put the ball with a header in the back of the net to give us a 3-2 win, it was great, a massive win and it really was a great group stage campaign that year as we'll talk a little bit later on about but a fantastic result Result. Celtic don't win away in Europe often so it was really a time to savour and we did savour it, it was a fantastic match. At number 3 is a group stage game from the 2007-8 season and it was at home against AC Milan, a massive team back then obviously fresh off winning the Champions League a couple seasons prior. They came to Celtic Park with a monstrous team, some of the biggest names in football history, you had Nesta, you had Gattuso, you had Pirlo, you had Sadov, Kaka and Zaghi, all came to Celtic Park, a thunderous AC Milan team on a very rainy day. You might remember this game for a couple of reasons, one being the actual result itself, maybe one being D does antics after a fan patted him in the cheek, base, cheek basically and uh, then he decided to act a wee bit, got himself stretched off wee bit of playing around for him but at the end of the day we did get the win it was a massive win and a very dramatic win at that, we did take the lead through Stephen McManus only for them to equalise through a shocking penalty decision but it didn't matter because right at the death of the game, Skippy himself, Scott McDonald stepped up to the occasion with a 90th minute winner to beat AC Milan, another game that helped us get through to the last 16 of the Champions League in that season, wee Gordon Strang was gone mental Oh, fantastic game, sticks in my mind and one of the top 5 best results in the Champions League for Celtic in my opinion. 
At number two, it's one of the more emotional, more dramatic games of the Champions League group stage in the past, and it is the match against Manchester United from the 2006-7 season. A massive game. Everything was riding on this game to get through to the last 16, and from a little bit of help from the Japanese man himself, the hero Shinsuke Nakamura, scoring a free kick in the 8th minute, a very memorable free kick. He helped us get through to the Champions League last 16, but not only that, Artur Boric as well stepping up to the occasion, making in one of his more finer saves, one of his most memorable moments as a Celtic goalkeeper as he saved a penalty to keep the dream alive as well. And not only did we progress to the last 16 of the Champions League this season, it was the first time since 1992 that Celtic had made it to the knockout stages of the Champions League tournament, so it was massive for Celtic. A, a, a lot was riding on this game and it is the match that got us through, so it was massive. Beating Alec Ferguson's Man United is not easy, was not easy, but Celtic got through it that night and they got to the Champions League last 16. Which leads me on to number one and you probably guessed it from the start of the video at number one. It's got to be the match against Barcelona from November 2012. Celtic 2, Barcelona 1. Celtic welcomed arguably the best team in Europe to, to Celtic Park that night. Not expecting to get much of a result, but it was an incredibly special night for Celtic. It was the 125th anniversary game to celebrate the birthday of Celtic, and, and the lads in the park rose to the occasion to celebrate Celtic's birthday with a marvellous, marvellous result for Celtic. Winning 2-1, Victor Wanyama initially giving us the lead through a brilliant header, and then late on in the game, Tony Watt sealing the game for Celtic, putting us up 2-0 against Barcelona. Aye, we might have not had the most incredible performances, but we went into the game without even a recognised striker. Gary Hooper was out, we went in not the strongest team and we managed to keep Messi and Co out of the game. Yes, they put one back at the end, it made the game incredibly nervy, but it's a game that no fan that was watching it at the time ever forget, they'll never forget that game. It was an, it's a special night to every Celtic fan, the atmosphere was incredible, uh, and I nothing nothing else more to say, or nothing, nothing I can add. What a result, 2-1 Celtic, and it's one of the games that really will always be in every Celtic fan's mind. Right then, that does it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you did enjoy it, I urge you to press the like and subscribe button. It is much appreciated if you did enjoy it. Making this video just as we head into the Champions League group stage campaign for the 2017-18 season, where I hope we will see some more great performances, some more great results and memorable fixtures, both at home and away. Will it happen? I don't know. I'd love to see some magic, but I thought we'd reminisce about some of the greater times in Champions League history for Celtic. Let me know if there's any games you thought I should have included in the list, but personally, they were the five that I wanted to include. You might agree, you might not, but at the end of the day, they were five incredible fixtures nonetheless. As I said, like and subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you all later.